I was thinking about starting with a three minute game just to warm up. Um, maybe try and raise my rating. I still haven't crossed the 2700 barrier in Blitz on the chess. Hello to more people. Okay, I'm trying for a Stafford. Oh, so I was going to say that, uh, well, this move knight d3, this is what my third round opponent at the Dubai Rapid Tournament played against me. It's actually not a bad move. Um, okay, let's be aggressive here. It's also what Dina Balankaya played against me. Welcome to more people. I know Magnus was playing a few moments ago. I don't know if he's still playing right now. But he is online. If he starts a game, maybe I'll I'll tune in and watch. Uh what to do here? Maybe Bishop Bishop E6, Queen D7, Castle. Okay, I'll play an 85. So the drawback of b3 is now the knight's pinned. And if bishop b2, the knight is still pinned. Okay, queen a5 looks nice. So I'm down a pawn, but I have compensation. Welcome to more people. We have Braden G from Maine. We have... Yeah, we have a lot of people. I'll read chat more thoroughly after this game. Uh, this is my warm up for the stream. Allowing the bishop trade. I think there's still some compensation here. C3 is a good move, though. Uh, yeah, I have to allow the, the bishop for knight trade. Okay, so I'm clearly worse here. Down upon white has a bishop hair, but I have hope. Hello to more people. Queen b4, queen d2. Maybe queen b5. There's some room to be tricky. If bishop b2, I think I can take counterattacking the queen. I do have to speed things up too. Hitting the pawn. Probably king b8. Yeah, white has a center. White has everything in this position. I feel kind of stuck. Okay, this pawn's undefended, never mind. Uh, play b5. Okay, at least I have a square to work with. Hey, it's Kaboom. Gifting five. Welcome back, Kaboom. Opponent wanted to check me, but I just slide over. Uh, I'll play this move. Do. I'll admit I didn't realize that pawn was hanging. Takes. Mm, let's play this idea to maneuver the knight. So I'm down two pawns here. But I still have hope. Knight a4, maybe. Okay, so these pieces can be considered outposts. Some idea c5. But maybe not too soon. Another idea, king b7, rook a8. King B7 is useful. Uh, hey, it's tactics. Look at this tactics. So I take here. If Rook takes, I would win the bishop. I still take the bishop and then work. It's not over though. Uh, yeah, White well, has some comp. Also has some pawns. Okay, threatening, mainly threatening knight d3. Now threatening rook d2. That's a good move. 
Uh, let's swing over. Need this move. No! I just blundered a knight. Ah, that's so bad. Okay, now I have to resort to dirtiness. <laughs> just blundered my knight. Okay, I'm only down four pawns. Very little hope. Oh, good move too. No! The night, but for thirty-one months, ah! I did the blunder of not being. I don't know. Oh. Oh. Stop it. GG. Oh, that was unfortunate. I had my chances too. Why did I play rook d6? I saw the pawn was attacked. I had to move back and then I would have had good chances too. Okay, that's why the game was a warm up. Also, that's why I'm not Carlson. Because this is Carlson playing Cake in Space. I think we'll watch Magnus for a little bit until I cool down. <laughs> oh no. My kind, fearful face. Oh no, your kind, fearful face. Oh, meant to say, oh no, my king. <laughs> Thank you, blunder prone. Okay, so I have some honey to make life sweeter. Just brewed some tea. Hey, it's Chessweeb. Thing, no muffin in space. Yeah, at what point does a muffin turn into a cupcake? If you put frosting on a muffin, does that make it a cupcake? Or you have to put it in a cup? Maybe it's just frosting. I'm drinking oolong tea. It's actually the first tea I ha I've had in a while that's not part of this uh, this gifted tea set. From Archie 3. I already had two cups of tea today. It's my third cup. Yeah, good to see a lot of people here. Um, so Magnus is randomly playing Blitz on the chess. Oh, if he took the bishop, there's rook d7. Oh, that's so clever from Cake in Space. The bishop couldn't really be taken. And now Magnus is down a pawn and down on time. But white has double F pawns. It's anyone's game. All three results possible. If Magnus draws or loses, he loses a lot of rating. Mate, hope the tea is good. Also happy holidays. Oh, tea is very good. Happy holidays. Mvavum. Mvavum. A very palindromic name. Thanks for subbing for three months. Thank you, Hammond. Wow, look at White's pawn structure. It's so scattered. Idea. Stream theme. Oh no, your queen. Where your handicap is that you're not permitted to checkmate until you've captured the opponent's queen. Oh. Further, weak opponents, you are also not allowed to lose your own queen. Ah. Uh. You may. <laughs> I like that idea, actually. Thank you, Ross. Two D two. I'm going to copy paste that to a notepad document. Okay, here's my notepad for today. Oh, how did Carlson's pawn get so far? I looked away and then he's just queening. London, London. Yes, it's London. Okay, Carlson playing London. I'm so happy right now. E3. Good. Let's try and guess Carlson's moves. C3. Bishop e2. Bishop e2 feels passive. Ah, he likes to play c4. It transposes into some queen's gambit. Oh, the, the Rosses are on the same wavelength. We have Ross the boss is back. And Felix says, Jesus, I missed your streams, Eric. 
Oh, happy holidays to you too. Beth is up, welcome back. Octopus asking if I'll play the Agen Mater Arena. And Lindsay Daddy redeeming Sip T. Knight A4 is nice. I think guarantees white the bishop hair. Very palindromic name. What name is only sort of palindromic? Oh, a sort of palindromic name would be uh <laughs> it would be like I'm trying to think. Like daddy or something. Where the first part of it is palindromic, but not the last part. If there's any other palindromic names in the chat, please make yourself known. Oh, Hannah is palindromic, yeah. But Hannah says is only partly palindromic. Smile. Hey, it's Blue Jay. Welcome back. Wait, what? Bishop d6 out of nowhere. Oh, deflecting the queen so after takes. Hey, Eric. Oh, that's very nifty, actually. How are you? Hope you have a nice this move. Season. Hey, it's XI Sparks. Welcome back. Oh. I actually didn't realize the bishop could take counterattacking the queen. Magnus has a nice position, though. Yo. Like, so many squares in Black's territory are controlled by white. And this. Seems like it's going to be crumbling. Ah, but queen a7, there's takes and, or check and takes. Thank you, Dr. Rashid. Bet is up with the hype train bits. I feel like I was answering a question. And then I lost track of my thoughts. question who is cake in space uh anonymous gm but clearly a strong player did the sound just die what happened to the sound there is a sound hello to lone wanderer Okay, so, oh, Magnus is up a pawn and has bishop versus knight. And black's pawns are fixed on the dark squares, hey, which hey. Happy Monday. makes the bishop happy. Although sometimes the, the pawns can restrict the bishop. Hey, it's Triswiss. Many belated congratulations for your photo gig at the World Championship. Oh, thanks so much. Your pictures were amazing. That's so kind. Also, loving the streaming streak. You're amazing. Yeah, this is my fourth day in a row streaming. I'm making up for all the previous days I didn't stream. Okay, seems like white is making progress here. Uh, we have the outside passer. Ooh, this pawn. Okay, this pawn can move forward. Might be some calculation where like a5 and if takes bishop e3 and knight gets trapped. I'm expecting a5. H4 is, I think, what most people would play. Thank you, Shrenik. Subbing for five months. If I change my name to Nesso, it would be palindromic. Ooh. Okay, now I know what I'm going to name my son. Or daughter. Nesso. <laughs> Nesso Rosen. Kind of like that name, actually. Yeah, Locke's not surviving this. Hi, Eric. The problem Eric is eventually Zygzwang. Hey, this is Zygzwang, by the way. Locke had to self-destruct there. Tips on learning Sicilian. Um... It depends what variation. The Sicilian is like a very vast opening. But if you're learning it from black, the first step is to choose what line that you want to play. And it might be worth exploring what the options are between dragon, nightdorf, 
Kalashnikov, Sveshnikov, O'Kelly, Classical, Sheveningen. Trying to think of others. Taimanov, Khan. I like Taimanov. Um, yeah, getting a book or a course or finding a player who like plays it consistently and then um, kind of embodying their repertoire. But it's hard to pinpoint just a single resource to to learn such an opening. What is this opening? Ah, this is some... Wait, what? So the queen... The queen developed to b6 to take on f6 and then just move back. It's a cool opening. I like the structure. Uh, it's kind of a, a classical Bononi structure. I'm going to retitle this stream. Magnus Carlsen... Watching Magnus Carlsen play Blitz. Okay. Now my stream is slightly more descriptive. Thank you, my FCAT. Something for five months. That's not too often that Magnus especially plays Blitz on the chess. No, he played a little bit before the World Championship match. I only match. know 25 letters of the alphabet, but I don't know why. Oh no. Also, 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 It's an also, infinite loop. Also quack. Yeah, that was expected. <laughs> Again, I don't know who Cake in Space is, but it's uh, probably Magnus's new child given that this is definitely an adoption. <laughs> so far, they've only played two games this session. F5, I like this move. Usually when you have bishops versus knights, it makes sense to open the position. And to open the position, that requires pawn breaks. So F5, aiming to get the bishop in play, but also the rook in play. Knight A5, taking advantage of the queen is overworked. But there is takes and takes. Ooh, bishop takes. Whoa, it's you, Max. Gifting 10. Completing another level of hype. I appreciate that. Oh, okay. So some people in chat know. Apparently, Van Forest. Is it Jordan or Jordan? Mentioned that this is a name in some interviews. Okay, I'll trust Twitch chat. Also, yeah, big thank you to you, Max. If you were gifted a sub, you can use the thank you emote. Ah, uh, Jordan Van Forest. Because there's Lucas, too. What just happened? So the knight retreated. Ah, the knight had to go away from defending the pawn. And it's still a little bit sharp. But Bishop F6, very nice solidifying move. And it's equal material. I was thinking the Rook could have come in, but Madness op opting for the end game. Very dangerous to take this, allowing the Pawn to run or Rook B8. But meanwhile, this move's coming. Rook B5, nice move. Yeah, here we see Magnus's end game technique. Wait, free pawn? Knight A1, wow, knight B3 is coming. But the king's ready to just enter the game. Thank you. And sometimes these endings, even though white's up a pawn, it's more important what the most like serious pass pawn is in the position. And this already looks pretty winning for black. Oh, thank you. Rosen. Wow, so oh, Cake and Space just resigned. Greatest. Oh, you're the greatest. Followers. Or is G Cook the greatest? Thank you, G Cook. Oh, it's M Singer, too. 
Oh, G cooked 1729 with 1729 bits. Thanks so much. M singer for 37 months. Wait, Knight A3? What is Knight A3? Carlson trolling now. He's winning too easily. He has to make things a bit more interesting. This reminds me, there is a tournament, I think it was like 2008 or 2009, US Open. Uh, Grandmaster Alexander Shabalov played Knight A3 Sicilian in at least like two or three of his games. And it's a playable move. It has access to C4, sometimes there's C3, Knight C2. It's one way to just avoid opening theory. Magnus, wow, combining this with this is is fascinating. Oh, thank you, Jaco Rubens. You are Rubens. Magnus is dreaming of this and this. It's actually really annoying for Black to develop with a pawn here. Because the bishop has to go the other way, but if e6, it weakens the dark squares. There's already a pawn on d5. What an opening. It's only moved 10, too. Yeah, rather than controlling the center, Magnus is controlling the flanks, but also the center. He's just trying to dominate the whole chessboard. So queen b6, it's still a very sharp position. And white has kind of his own issues with lack of queenside development. Black found a home for the king. Is this not on Lee Chess's top rated game? It's not. I don't know why. They have to fix the algorithm, I guess. Because, yeah, Magnus is clearly the top-rated player, at least in Blitz. Oh, is it a private game? Meaning it was like a sent challenge rather than like a pool game. Interesting. Wait, what happened? B4? Ah, so, okay, he sacked a pawn temporarily, but it's going to win it back. D4 is a nice move, because in the event of takes, 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 there's this, and uh, White would win back some material. Oh, choo-choo. Thanks, everyone. Wait, what? Ah, D3. But then D3, Queen E6. And Black just lost a piece. Queen f3. Yeah, white's up a piece and has an initiative. Bishop f4 also coming. This is not good for black. A Magnus making things look easy. Oh, Jordan was on Carlson's team. Ah, so maybe they're just. Are they training for tomorrow's uh, Agenmater tournament? Which I think I'll play in tomorrow. Lee Chess has been promoting it on the front page. Like so much strong competition. Yeah, Hikaru is even playing. Hikaru's secret Lee Chess account. But not so secret anymore. Wait, what happened to Carlson's extra piece? Ah. So he kind of gave it up. But, okay, this is absolutely crushing. Thank you, Slackerman9. And Pack Shipman. I'm liking the variety of openings. So now we have a Karo Khan. That previous game we had like some Benoni, Benko type thing. A6 Karo Khan. And immediately A3. This is some like alienistic type chess. What is this? I don't understand the inclusion of these moves. 
But I vaguely remember Levy talking about A6 at some point. H5. H5 makes sense when there's a knight here. Magnus really playing like Alpha Zero today. Just storming the H-pawn. We have the same situation as the previous game. Pawns go burr. Yeah, especially Magnus's H pawn. Celebrating my birthday along with eight month anniversary. Hey, happy birthday and happy eight month anniversary. Sipper tea. Okay, so again the bishop develops. Not sure if White actually wants to castle into what could be an eventual mate. I mean, the obvious move looks to be just develop, but maybe there's some trading possibilities. RK Martin asking, how is my, my Dubai visit? It was good. It went by quick. It was super busy. Um, took a lot of photos of Magnus and Nepo and uh, the overall environment. Um, the last few days, I've been posting recap videos from the rapid tournament I played. Uh, the Dubai Chess Club. New video is up, posted maybe a couple hours ago. Oh, if you want to access the Agad Mater tournament, just go to leechess.org. It's on the homepage uh, right here. Will you be doing sub games today? Um, I'll play it by ear. Maybe. I did a lot yesterday for about four hours straight. And then I, I played one game this stream. <laughs> it, it showed I'm not in my best form. So I think for now I'll chill. I'll answer some questions uh, while watching Magnus. And then uh, we'll see how long this match goes. I think blitz matches tend to be a bit shorter than bullet matches. Okay, so it's still equal material. Rook d2, nice move. So if takes, takes, and the queen activates. If takes here, Magnus gambiting. Gambiting the whole queen side. But okay, black is going for activity. I'm wondering if just queen e4 or rook f1. Oh, rook d1's now a threat. Rook D1? How does white defend? New Wi-Fi knew me. Wow. White resigned immediately. Yeah, Madness just probably took some time to make sure there is no defense. There are a couple of spike checks, but it wouldn't help. So we saw the power of the pawn on each three. Hey, it's Davina. And Chiquitas. Was that planned? That happened at like the exact same time. Thank you, Chiquitas and Twitch Let's Go. Shout out to both of you. We have a Divina command. That wasn't planned. Was that just a coincidence? Chiquitas as well. That was literally the same time. It's maybe similar to what happened yesterday. I raided Naroditsky at the exact same time as Bach raiding Naroditsky. It was meant to be. If you're just joining, I'm watching Magnus Carlsen, the Dr. Nectar's team. I just realized he's back on his uh, his other account. He was playing on the Dr. Championstein account a few days ago for Tyler Arena. Can you explain some plans in the Marazzi? Well... I think we're going to see Carlson explain some plans with his moves. Very common to put the rook aligned with the queen. Um, for those that don't know, Marazzi bind is a structure with e4 and c4, usually against the Sicilian. So black is missing a c pawn, white's missing a d pawn. Uh, things are already getting a little bit crazy. Marazzi has a reputation for being very positional and solid. Um, normally white likes to set up with like queen d2, keep the bishop here, f3 castling. 
Um, it seems like there's already pressure on white. Like what to do about this diagonal? Bishop e2 defending the knight and attacking this knight. And black appears to be the one for choice. It's just a question. Can black actually win anything? Whoa, it's just dojo. That's three raids in the last like 90 seconds. What's up, Chess Dojo? Shout out to Chess Dojo Live. Triple raid. Again, if you're just joining, we're watching Magnus. Magnus Carlson. What's Magnus's middle name? I think it's Owen. Owen? I think it's... There might be some like symbol above one of the vowels though. Oh, CL Smith says Sven Owen, but it's an O with a line through it. So I don't know how to pronounce that. Wait, what just happened? Queens are traded. It's still equal material, but Black still applying a ton of pressure. This pawn is pinned to the knight. This knight is tied down to the pawn. Ideally, white would like to counterattack somehow. F4 doesn't hey, seem to help. Like Saint Louis style pizza. I've heard it's kind of insane. Do you have any explanations? Quack. Oh, I'll admit I. I really haven't had much pizza in Saint Louis, and when I did have it, it wasn't so memorable. I had a uh, St. Louis ribs in Montreal. <laughs> that was more memorable. But uh, yeah, as far as I know, it's not too insane. It's just kind of underwhelming. It tastes like pizza. You got the bread and the cheese and can choose your toppings. I mean, there's a chain. I think St. Louis, uh, the most well-known chain is Emo's. But I'll have to explore more. I'm more into, ooh, what's Carlson's time and position? Carlson might lose a game. His first loss in the history of the planet, maybe. Okay, this is where Carlson has to unleash his world champion beast mode. I don't think it's going to happen. For a GM like Haken Space, this should be a pretty routine win, but you never know. Okay, knight dancing, maybe f4 at the right moment. But f4 would weaken this diagonal. Fourteen seconds to over forty seconds. Knight g3, okay, so this pawn, ooh, this pawn is, yeah, black is playing really nicely, milking both sides of the board like a cow, but Magnus still holding on. Okay, the bishop block hates. Okay, Magnus resigns. The first win, Magnus loses a game. So it's five to one. I wonder... Oh, wow. So Magnus has played 10 Blitz games today. Net gain of 2 points. He lost 12 points for that game. Wow. Ah, so now he's playing a Sicilian. Ah, Sicilian checkover variation. 97, interesting. Is Magnus washed up? I'm not sure. Depends if someone put him in the washing machine. Hey, it's Adfost. What's up, Adfost? Thanks for gifting five. I just had a random thought. 
just because Alphos gifted five. I want to check if. Ah, uh, real quick tangents. I'm gonna check if Magnus has ever played a Traxler for either color, at least with this account. Any Traxlers from Magnus? Oh, Magnus has played this twice. Oh, that's kind of cool. At some point later, we'll have to look at how Magnus did with the Traxler. See, he won, but it'd uh, be cool to see those games. Do you think Nepo can make a comeback after such a bad loss in the match? Yeah, it seemed like he had the right perspective where I mean it's tough like to train so hard and then to have such a result, but um he's a very capable player, just needs to find a better form. But clearly we see why Magnus is such a goat. Oh, I have not played Babel Royale. I've heard of it. I don't fully understand what it is yet, but I, I do want to play at some point. Some other type of uh, word game. You have to make a list of like all the non-chess games to play. You have to play the Untitled Goose game. Okay, this position looks way more stable than the previous game. Although Magnus is down a pawn. But it has a bishop hair, a decent compensation. This rook's a little bit awkward. Not quite getting trapped though. Yeah, I know there's discussion about tomorrow's tournament, which originally I didn't think I was going to play because I had like uh the heating cooling people coming over but i rescheduled that because a chess is more important um yeah tomorrow there is it might be the largest prize fund for like an open chess tournament online i can't think of a larger prize fund especially for like a two-hour bullet tournament on Lee chess top prize is uh one bitcoin which is somewhere around like $46,000. And Hikaru is playing along with so many other GMs. What's going on with this bishop? Okay, so materials equal. Um, ah, bishop takes knight c4. Magnus chooses not to take the pawn. This looks really nice, though. Usually in situations where there's pawns on both wings, the bishop is far preferable over the knight. Even though the knight can still be tricky, objectively, the bishop's just better. King can come in, and pieces are so well placed. E3 threatening this and this. That's full domination. Rook c2, rook c2, knight f4. Nice little trick. So g5, nice prophylaxis. Ah, that was nice. If rook takes his mate, pawn e2, mate. A question if Magnus is playing tomorrow. I don't think he signed up. We can see, let's see. Not seeing Magnus. I wouldn't be surprised if he plays. Actually, it would be really cool. Then, like, it would probably be a race between Magnus and Hikaru, I would assume. Oh, this is Mamadyarov. Mamadyarov's a... Right? Or is this Mamedov? Ah. I think this is Mamadyarov. Oh, this is... <laughs> I've, who's Mama Diarov? Maybe I'm getting confused. 
But yeah, there's a ton of strong players. Oh, Eric Hansen. Or is this Lamont? Probably Eric. I'm actually curious. This is, I think, scheduled for the same time as titled Tuesday. Tomorrow's Tuesday. I wonder. I wonder if it makes more sense for me to play Title Tuesday. Because there won't be any competition. <laughs> or maybe they'll reschedule Title Tuesday. Oh, Benjamin says, maybe chat would know better. Hey, it's Rx. What's up, Rx? Yeah, it'd be cool if Andrew Tang plays. Actually, Andrew Tang, I feel like would have a decent shot because it's a two-minute bullet. He would berserk a lot and win a lot. Yeah, I, I was kind of joking. I, I'd much prefer playing like the, the event with a larger prize fund, even though there's very small chance of actually winning anything. It'd be cool to at least like play Magnus or Hikaru or just a bunch of strong players. Wait, what, what is this opening? Oh, this is a cool opening. Queen B3. I've played a similar line in the past. So Magnus just won a pawn. Well, I could maybe win it back. But after takes, takes, bishop d3. Wow. Oh no. Wait, what? What about sugar tort? Stafford against Magnus tomorrow if you play. Yeah, I need revenge on Magnus. He beat me the last time we played. But in Dubai, I, I managed to capture all of his pieces with my camera. Not the best form of revenge. But yeah, if, if I play Magnus, I would play Stafford. If I play Hikaru, I probably wouldn't go for it because he's, he's aware of it. What was this comment about Sugar Tort? Also, why did why did Black sack on B4? Maybe it was just kind of desperation. Magnus seems to be happy here. Knight F3, nice move. Just trying to simplify. If takes, I guess there's Bishop D3 still. Pawn is defended by the tactical ideas. And the Queen's tied down to C7. Oh, no Bishop D3. But maybe bishop d3, then take. It could be fun to play guess a move with Magnus's games. Bold asking, do you still have a positive score against Magnus? Uh, Wait. Oh, it says here, my score is 1 to 2. But I played Magnus on his other account. Wait, what's going on? What just happened? Lights up a rook. Oh, rook b7, nice move. Knight d5, so precise. And there's no good discoveries because all of White's things are on light squares. Yeah, I played Magnus uh against his man with a van account this was back in 2018 i think it was 2018 and i played him unknowingly it was the first round of some lee chess title arena and he was playing from his phone and i beat him and i only found out later that i was playing him then he went on to win the tournament so it was fun. And then a few months after that game, of course, I posted the, the YouTube video like a day or two after the game. Uh, then a few months later, that video was on the front page of Reddit. It had like 50,000 upvotes on r slash videos. 
Oh, that's so cool. Euphoria Music says that viral video is what got me into chess. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, how many people saw that on the front page of Reddit? Remember having like a massive spike in viewership that day? Getting getting messages from friends I hadn't spoken to in years and friends who didn't even play chess. Yeah, so my current score, at least as far as I know, is two, two and two against Magnus. So we've played four times. Uh, the second time I beat him was in a chess 960 game. It was a Lee Chess 960 arena. It was a two plus one time control. That's also on YouTube. Actually, if people want to, um, people are curious. I do have my my Magnus playlist. These are all my games against Magnus. And every time I played them, I was live streaming. So I'll try and keep that trend. You jumped the gun. Thank you for all the Dubai content. Oh, my pleasure. There's more to come. I have seven more recap videos to record. You are my favorite chess person, D. Oh, thank you. You're my favorite PBK. Whatever that means. Peanut Butter King. I've never played Magnus OTB. I photographed him OTB. If that even makes sense. I played uh, back in 2015. He visited St. Louis for Sinkfield Cup. And he stopped by my university. And he played soccer and basketball with my, uh, my chess team. But never played them in chess in real life. Magnus down on time. Also, the position looks really delicate for black. Knight is kind of pinned. This pawn's undefended. White's very stable. Yeah, these pawns are potentially weak. But we'll see the magic of Magnus if he can survive such a not so great looking position. Okay, so white won a pawn. It still takes a lot of work for white to convert this because these pawns aren't dangerous yet. And it seems like every endgame they reach, Magnus's king is more active. Like he has this inner like sixth sense of when the endgame is approaching and his king is just better positioned. Wow, he pre-moved on passant. Someone should clip it and show it in slow motion. Oh wait, that's not on passant. It would have been cool if it was on Passant. I guess he just pre-moved G takes F3. <laughs> Got excited there. Yeah, Magnus might be playing for a win now because uh, the pawns are going to fall. If here, actually knight B4 is maybe playable because of this or this. I don't know why I didn't take. And this position is confusing. At some point, White Black's going to win one of these pawns. And Magnus is now up on time. Yeah, momentum is shifting. I don't believe Magnus is streaming. If he was... If he started streaming, I'd probably raid him. Depending how family-friendly... It would be. <laughs> okay, this is just a dead draw. Are they going to repeat? It's going to be stalemate. Whoa, king b5. It wasn't stalemate. It's insufficient mating material. So for those that don't know, there's different ways. There's a bunch of different ways a game can end in a draw. 
Stalemate is my favorite. Insufficient mating material. Could be king versus king, king and bishop versus king, king and knight versus king. Um, draw offer and accepted. What else? 50 move rule and threefold repetition. Only five ways? Oh, no, my mating material. Oh, and uh, also when someone flags and the other player doesn't have enough mating material. So that's also kind of insufficient mating material, but that's a different type. Oh, thank you, Cosmic Binoculars. Yeah, it helps to keep mating material. Whoa, what is the opening? Okay, a filled door opening. This should be five, nice move. So Magnus's E pawn has turned into an F7 pawn. 95 maybe coming soon. This looks really bad for black. Well, I want to play this and then this and then this. Magnus is threatening the pork. The pin and the fork. And it's not easy to stop. I wonder if there's anything better. Yeah, just 92. Very patient. Don't get mated. Wait. Rookie 7. Okay. So he had a follow-up, but there's still a mate threat. The Black's King is being harassed. Wow. Yeah, the King had nowhere good to go. Moves here, here, white takes with check. Or here. If here, I think there's rook e1, and then it's the same problem for Black. 19 move game. Yeah, that's how you tear apart the Philidor. Win d4. I don't think I've seen this idea before. It looks weird because knight c6, but... I guess e5 is a nice, uh, nice way of maximizing the pressure. Magnus might be done. It might be time to move on now and figure out what to do with my life. Oh, what is 50 move rule? 50 move rule is when there's 50 moves played without any pawn moves or captures. So you really don't have to worry about it until you get like very deep into the end game where most pawns are off the board. Hey, it's Kung Fu Chess Org. I assume that's the creator of Kung Fu Chess.org. Thanks for subbing for the first time. I think I saw you in yesterday's chat but forgot to say hi. I would like to play some Kung Fu chess now, but I don't want to break the site. <laughs> wow, so... What is this? I want to look this up in Lee Chess, actually, because... Um, yeah, Knight C6 is more natural with Bishop B5, Bishop D7. I guess White just aims to... Take the knight and get a nice space advantage. Goat chess streamer. Oh, thank you, Nipper Slipper. Hey, it's LaFong. What's up, LaFong? Merry Christmas, Eric. In Rose and thank you. Oh, LaFong challenging me to Kung Fu chess. Yeah, I wanted to play LaFong and Kung Fu Chess like months ago, but thank you for I'm sure we'll play content. sometime soon. And thank you, Jessica and DJ Prometheus. Oh, LaFong challenges me to anything, including tennis. Might be hard to play tennis several hundred miles apart. But I would accept that challenge. Oh, should I look at Carlson's game in the Traxler? Where's my tab? Here's my tab. So for those that don't know, the Traxler 
counterattack. Oh, Lee Chess is so friendly and informative. The tracks are counterattack. Um, it's a line usually. Okay, we'll look from box side. It's a line in what looks like is going into a fried liver from the two knights, where instead of black playing the main move d5, allows white to feast on the f7 pawn, and then really cool things happen. Uh, so I just discovered Magnus had two games in this on Lee Chess, winning both of them against one of the top rated players on Lee Chess, uh, Sergei Zhigalko. Also, thanks to all the, the subs. Hey, it's leechess.org. What's up, leechess.org? Shout out to leechess.org, which is the site that I'm using to stream on right now. If you're just joining, we were just watching Magnus play chess, but now he's no longer playing. Um, so now we're looking at his like older games we discovered two games where he played the Traxer opening as black. And unfortunately, yeah, Jigalko didn't play like the more fun line, um, which is understandable. I think most stronger players will play Bishop takes F7. Yeah, Masters database. But on Lee Chess, I think Knight F7 is probably more popular. Yeah, hundred over 108,000 games. So let's look at this game. Wait, what? Oh, Magnus also had this as white. Oh, that's cool. So he's won all three games in the Traxxer. Two with black, one with white. At least from the Nectar scene account. Karpov played this in 1983. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah, this is a cool thing about the Lee Chess database. You can really dig into some history of some of these openings. Not sure what's more exciting. Karpov playing the Troxler or Karpov playing Ray Enigma? I'll let the audience decide. Anyway, let's see what happened. Engine doesn't like this opening, but it's very, very tricky. Okay, so Black's King is on e7. The reason for playing this as black, at first it looks terrible because you lose casting rights, you lost a pawn, but the fact that there's now more open lines, given that there's no pawn on f7, uh, mainly the f-file and this diagonal, which can be used by the rook and then the queen, and white's going to lose time having to move the knight again. Uh, so queen e8. We're going to ignore the engine for a bit. Also, it's kind of hard to ignore the engine. Look at this graph. Look at this graph. White was winning the whole game. But Magnus kept surviving, and then at some point, Zhigalko fell off a cliff. That's crazy. <laughs> Okay, let's... Can I turn off engine? Okay, no more engine. Let's try and identify the point that white... Ooh! Bishop f7. Oh, that's why queen g6 is a blunder. Oh, that's kind of nasty. And queen h6. Yeah, this can get really nasty. Knight e6 hitting the queen and the bishop and the pawn. And hugging the king. Adfoss says, yeah, Magnus doesn't know theory. So what's the theory? Instead of queen g6, the move to play is d6. Which makes some sense. Okay, so Magnus was basically down a queen most of this game. So Magnus is playing a Traxler and a Botez Gambit. But yeah, in, in exchange for being down a queen, what does black have? Uh, two knights. Actually, white's up a pawn, too. 
So Magnus has two knights for queen and pawn. But this was a bullet game, so... Okay, let's see what happened. Bishop trades for knight. Now it's bishop and knight for queen and pawn. White building up on the king's side, but black holding on. G5 looks like a nice move. Still holding on. It's a nice strategy when you're down material like this. Just hold on for dear life. Man, it's a triple battery gun. Have to play 98, I think. And look at these pieces. So this and this are defended. I don't see how black defends everything here. King f8. So defending the rook, losing a pawn. How does Magnus win this? Yeah, the goal is to identify the turning point. <laughs> He's still surviving. Oh, okay. The rook is lost. Knight h7. But Magnus doesn't take it. What is this? Wow, so he, he does win the exchange. White's still winning, though. Oh, no. Did white move the queen to the h-file? No, white's playing well. Do oh, King g1. Oh, he had two seconds left. I was like, wasn't looking at the timestamps. So Magnus just, just kept surviving until Jigalko got super low on time. And then counter the counter Botez Gambit. Oh no, my queen. What a game. Okay, let's look at one more game. Magnus still not playing. Is it this one? So it's this one. Oh, this game. Wait a minute. This game, Magnus wins with the Traxxer in 16 moves against the same opponent. 3,000 rated GM. Let's see what happens. Same line. Okay, bishop c4, slight difference than bishop b3. Now, does Magnus learn from his mistake? I don't know if this game was before or after the previous one. Okay, d6, better move. I mean, we're already like almost 10 moves into the game. So Magnus wins the game in like five or six more moves. I wonder if Zhigalko is going to get maiden on f2. Because that's slightly tricky to see. At least for a beginner player. <laughs> Knight g4, hitting the pawn three times. Knight f7, wow. Obstructing the queen, attacking the rook. Magnus goes for the fork. Queen h5. Now this is like the craziness of the Traxler, where things are like hanging left and also left. So it takes, oh no, did white take here? No. So Magnus is up a rook. Is inaccurate. G6, check. We're gonna see king c6, king e8. So the queen's attacked now. Bishop a4 losing the, Magnus doesn't take the knight because of rook f1, so c6. And white resigns in this position. White just ran out of steam. And now this and this are hanging. And white's already down a rook. Oh, queen e8. Queen e8's inaccurate? Is rook f8? Or d6? Ah, rook f8. Yeah, it might be worth exploring the theory someday. Those were some fun games, though. I might have to put this section on YouTube. 
Magnus Carlsen plays the Traxer. Uh, <laughs> what does the computer think about this game? Enable. How do I enable? There we go. Wait, what? White was winning the whole game? What is this graph? Was White better in the final position? No. The final position looked losing. Oh, this graph only goes through. The graph kind of is hiding behind, behind something. Refresh. Hey, there's a graph. Okay. So the turning point was this moment. White played bishop f7, which looks logical, but it's kind of wasting time. Yeah, because he just helped improve the queen, gave black an extra move, and then f2 is hard to defend. Okay. So White was not winning this whole game. Yeah, final position was minus 7.5 in black's favor. All right, if this goes on YouTube, hello to YouTube. Let me know if you want to see more content like this, where we just like look at Magnus Carlsen's crazy openings. Um, be fun to do like a deep dive and some other like maybe fun gambits that he plays. Also, Twitch chat says hi. Hello. And Electric Eye says hello. A lot of first-time viewers and chatters. Yeah, if you're new here, feel free to say hi. Hey, more first-time viewers. Chat is so welcoming. Okay. I'm so mesmerized now by Twitch chat. Oh, Possum redeemed hello. Every, everyone say hello to Possum. Yeah, I've been live for just over an hour. So what to do? I could... I could run a tournament. Oh, I should change the, the title because I'm no longer watching Magnus. Even though we were reviewing some of his games. Okay, I'll run a viewer tournament. Play Arena Create Um Okay, viewer tournament time. What should the format be? Maybe three I don't have so much time. I'm gonna make it three minute chess. Actually, no, let's let's do preparation for tomorrow's Bitcoin tournament. Let's make it two-minute chess. I know that's kind of fast for some people, but I kind of want to prepare. And I'm going to practice berserking every game. So two minutes, zero. Wait, this is already set appropriately. 45 minutes. This looks pretty good. Um... Okay, shameless self-promotion. And I think we're good. Ah, wait a minute. Give me one moment. Some weird, like, caching thing. Here we go. Okay, now people can join. Uh, link is in the chat. Commands edit join. You can also use a join command. Update that with a stream title. Yeah, unlike tomorrow's tournament, there's no prize fund for this one. So the winner will not be getting a full Bitcoin. But the winner maybe will be getting pride and glory. Wait, is the tournament tomorrow two plus one? Is it? Exclamation mark join. 
No, it's not. Tomorrow's tournament is 2 0, but it's two hours. So this tournament Love you, Eric. is 45 also, minutes. Quack attack Daddy Mac. Oh, thank you, Federico Grando. Quack attack Daddy Mac. Sounds like the name of a tasty snack. Okay. Uh, tournament starts in 80 seconds. It is rated, I believe. Yeah, we have the tournament information here. This tournament is rated and it will affect your rating. Uh, wow, almost have 200 players here. Yeah, it's a spontaneous tournament. I think I'm going to commit to berserking every game. Because I wanna, I wanna test my ability to move like fast, and it's also an interesting like time odds. Uh, between two minutes versus one minute. So I do get the question a lot: What is berserking? <laughs> I should answer this thoroughly before the tournament begins. Uh, berserking is where you start with less time. Uh, basically, you start with half your original time so um when i berserk i'll start with one minute rather than two and if i win the game i'll get an extra tournament point for the standings so it is it's explained here Ten, um nine, it is risky eight, but seven, maybe make things more six, fun five, four, three, okay two, good, good luck everyone one, zero. hey playing fool down okay <laughs> Oh, Fuldan knows uh knows my Stafford. Do I play it anyway? Oh, I know what I'll play. Oh, I don't know what I'll play. Wait, play knight g5. I want to play a Traxxer now. Ah, no knight g5. Okay. Now we have some strange opening. I'm up a pawn though. This position feels pretty nice. I think I would like to take, wow, g4. Okay, so I'm gonna win the d4 pawn after the knight moves or not. That was a bit nifty. And queen f6 holding on to f3. I could have traded queens, but Wow, after pawn takes b7, I played this, and the the white queen was almost trapped there. Okay, now queen h4 is coming. Like the queen has to move here, I think. If bishop here, I take. Okay, up a bishop. Didn't quite get my mating attack I was hoping for. But got some endgame. Still takes some work to win, though. Trying to open things up, especially the G file. Yeah, white was running maiden one there. Okay, I want to play this and this. F3 can be pre moved. Actually, bishop e4 is a maybe bigger threat. Mm. Okay, I wanna, wanna infiltrate somehow. Hey, this is a fun looking move. So I have connect three. Where's my mate? What is this position? Check. I don't see my mate. Ah, the king is so slippery. Where's my mate? 
We repeated some weird way, too. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Plenty of time. Always play Bishop F8 checkmate. Okay, what a start to the tournament. Good game pulled down. I was almost fooled. Oh, that king was like doused in oil. I was trying to catch it, but it kept slipping away. So, yeah, again, continuing berserking. Actually, I feel like it's easier to berserk in a two-minute time control than a one-minute time control. It's, it's nicer having a minute compared to 30 seconds. Okay, Ponziani time. Yeah, Bishop c5 only made d4 stronger. I'll defend the pawn. F5, very fine move. I want to play knight e5, especially at bishop g4. And now if takes takes, the problem for black is a knight in the pawn. Uh, I think this is okay. So takes, takes, takes. Rook c1, queen a5. Oh, and then queen c4. Oh, I missed that move. Okay, I'll still win c7, or not. Black had rook f7 there. Uh, I guess I'll take in king f1. Okay, I'm going to try and employ the Carlson endgame strategy of activating the king and then mating the opponent. Yeah, g6 was a bit weakening. Wait, where's my mate? Check. Uh-oh. This isn't so clear. I have to run all the way back. Okay, I'll walk back to C3. There we go. Put the rook on C2. It's going to require some technique here. Hiding my king. Threatening maiden two. Okay, I'm on three pawns now. Gradually moving up in the world. Okay, I'll mate with king and rook. Okay, every game I have like two or three seconds left. Man, good game to my opponent. It was a close one. Thank you, Adfoss, gifting to Johnny D. Okay. So six tournament points. Keeping up my berserk streak. Playing liquid YXNG. I'll berserk again. Play one of these. Opponent moving quickly. Ooh. Oh no, white's queen. I think my opponent was anticipating queen e7 and not bishop e7. Or maybe it was very tilted. Okay, uh, well, I'll move on. I'm in first place now. Let's go. I'll play a London. Yeah, so if I wasn't berserking, I would have like three less points, I think. I know Agad Matra recommends this anti-London idea. But uh, yeah, knight a3 is a nice response. Now knight g5. It's actually a, a kind of common London trap. Get both knights to attack f7. Again, if you want to join, link is shared by Nightbot. You can use the join command. Might have to scroll up to find the link. Yeah, rook's attacked. Can take it. Okay. 
and light will eventually come back. But it's having a nice vacation. The opponent saw this, but didn't probably see this. Okay. Last two games were pretty efficient. So some players somewhat close behind, playing Yayab, berserking back. Have a, a B3. Yeah, I want to make it sharp. Castle queen side. Go for some eventual... Uh, yeah, let's do this. So I win the queen. And then the knight's going to be hanging too. After white takes on d1. Or takes on g4, I take and then take. Oh, I can also take again and then take. So this worked out really nicely. Rook d2, I check and win the pawn. Ah, I didn't see that move. I think I have to take. I mean, I could take, but it should still be better for me. Yeah, I allowed the counter tactic. Play c5 and go for b5. Also preventing b4. So if white wants to defend, I mean, knight a5, b6. Okay. Pawns go marching. I'll clean up the pawn first. Okay, let's go. 20 points. No mercy. Yeah, welcome to all the new people. It's not too late to join. Nice thing about doing an arena tournament, you can join or pause whenever or rage quit whenever. Let's play a walrus. Opponent wins the pawn right away. Um, yeah, it's kind of a uh, risky opening, but leads to kind of an interesting position. White's playing very natural moves and yeah, getting a clear advantage. Hey, it's CC Hustle. Thanks for the raid. For those just joining, I'm running a viewer tournament. It's a two-minute bullet chess. We started about 10 minutes ago. The tournament link is in the chat. You can use the join command. Shout out to CC Hustle. Appreciate the raid. This is in preparation for the Agenmater Bitcoin tournament tomorrow, which uh, yeah has a massive prize fund. Play this move, this move. Okay, let's be safe. White's playing this well. But okay, I feel like I've stabilized a little bit. Not getting mated. Got a nice e5 square and g3 square. Blockade on the dark squares. The queen might want to infiltrate further. Bring the rook to g8. So I'm still down a pawn. I haven't won a single pawn yet, but I'm going to be winning a pawn or multiple pawns uh, very soon. Inducing this to play this. And g2. So if white tries to take and then defend, I take here because then there'd be a pin. I have 19 seconds. Yeah, plenty of time. 
I just want to simplify. Rook is now pinned. Okay, finally up on time. Also up a lot of pawns. Okay, no mercy. So 31 minutes left. Almost out of tea. Not sure if I'll have any tea left by the time this tournament ends. Will Magnus be joining the Agenmata Arena? I don't know. It's possible though. I think it's more than 50% likely. Okay, double berserk. This is a fun line. So I get the bishop pair. Uh, queens are off the board, but okay, I'll win a pawn here. Avoiding the rook trade, I'd like to try and complete development. Yeah, I'll go for h5. I think the king... Oh, king d2 there would be bishop e4. Okay, let's trade all the rooks. Yeah, check to deflecting the king away from defending the pawn. Ah, I missed a fork. Uh, oh, can I be really fancy? I can be really fancy. Oh no, my rook. I'm going to be down a minor piece in the end of this. But I have g6 and the pawn is queening. Yeah, I went for the style points there. Okay, that was nice. Keeping up the berserk streak. Oh, that one game I won in like six, five or six moves, it didn't count for berserking because the game was so short. But other games I got five points for. Oh, opponent's going for this, uh, this h5 dirty trap. Okay, so against h5, I usually like to just go into a queen's gambit um, where black's kind of committed to moving the pawn. Okay, I think I'll try and develop normally. And this is a lingering weakness. If knight d7, I think I would take. There's some idea to target the file as well. Never mind. Okay, it's actually a solid position. Kind of for both of us. Black Castle's queenside. Go for minority attack. I'm delaying castling because I'm content with my king here. Idea of this or this. Maybe this. Try and get rid of the knight. And then, yeah, if we trade on C, never mind. Okay, I guess now I'll have good knight versus bad bishop. Idea d5 soon. So if takes, I take with discover check. Um, I think I can take here. So if takes, I check. Maybe we're just trading. Hmm. Ah, my time. I'm spending too long. Okay, rook d4. Okay, I went a pawn here. 
Okay, this should be winning. King's a little bit out of it, but this better be winning. Four months, punk. So basically what's happening is black is in perpetual zugzwang. Just wait for the pawns to push. There we go. I'll clean up the pawns. Okay. It felt pretty clean. Hey, happy four months. Jacob Garretts. Okay. Feeling clean. How many points have I gained? I gained three points from all these games. Yeah, I'm risking a lot. Oh, let's play the Jonathan Schrantz. Uh, what is this? I think he called it the Ton Gambit. Jonathan Schrantz has like a new video about this. And it looked interesting. I don't think E3 is a, a common move. I already like the position. Nice and open. Bishops can develop. Uh, that's a reasonable move. Develop and defend. Hey, Jonathan's in the chat. Shout out to Jonathan. I'll try and make you proud. Okay, I'm the C2 square. So it's completely symmetrical pawn structure. But now, yeah, white's going to have a weakness. Yeah, very small edge for black, just because of this pawn. I was hoping for a more tactical, crazy battle, but this is now very positional and technical. Always trying to exploit this pawn, but... It's very well defended. I'm taking rookie one. Actually, that blunders a pawn. You have to be careful here. So I'm up a pawn, which is usually enough to win an endgame. But it does require patience. And the goal is to trade all the rooks. Also activate my king. Yeah, I want to bring the king to a3. Okay, I win this pawn. Yeah, usually the rook and pawns can just like kind of caterpillar their, their way up the board. It's hard for white to do much. Like, you contract and then you expand. Contract, expand. And then you turn into a butterfly. Okay, that was pleasant. 40 points. Captain Moist Nuclear Redeeming Sip Tea. We have 22 minutes left and some change. No mercy this tournament. Playing Freebo in second place. Ooh. And decently rated too. Playing against a Dutch. So this is a the G4 Gambit. Ah, this line. I remember this line. H5 is a funny move. I actually prepared this exact move against Augustine. The 2018 ExtraCon Open in Denmark. Um, I was kind of expecting some weird move order Dutch, but it didn't happen in the game. So, wow, what a position. What is this position? I think I'll take and play Queen D3. I'm Queen G6. And develop the bishop. Okay, threatening bishop E4. Knight E7. I'll play this, because now the idea is to take 
deflect the bishop and then target c7. Maybe this move first. Man, it's a funny position. Got my knight to a happy place. B7's undefended, but... Oh, B2's hanging. What's going on here? The C3 looks solid. I just want a castle and be happy. Let's defend. Also don't want a flag. I should have probably taken that. Queen e4. Ah, uh, queen e4, queen e6, queen h7. Hitting the bishop. I might lose a knight in the end, but if the king goes back, I check. There we go. G5 is now hanging. With check. And black's kind of crumbling here. Uh, I'll simplify. Down a lot of time. Oh, I pre-moved e3, almost allowing rook h1. Okay, it's time to pre-move. A lot of these moves are safe pre-moves. Meaning that there's no way for black to actually exploit the fact of like what I'm about to do. The trick is to make sure everything's defended. Okay, the trick is also not to stalemate. Yeah, I could try. King A1 coming. Yeah, so fun fact, after B4, on Passan is illegal because it's check. And then C4, a very explosive mate. Okay, that was kind of a cool game. It was a really cool opening, actually. Okay. 45 tournament points. Playing Magnus is my second. That would be cool to have Magnus as a second. What do I play against Carol Khan? I'll play d3. It's been a pet line of mine for a bit. Okay, resembles some King's Indian setup. More on the solid side. I want to play this eventually. Some bishop a3. I'm going to try and play on both sides of the board. I got the left right hook. Kind of like boxing. Okay, defend the pawn. Wait, that's a free queen. <laughs> I saw the pawn was attacked. I was looking for ways to defend. This was the ultimate way to defend. Okay, 50 tournament points. So I've gained... I try not to be too fixated on rating, but I've gained 5 points from 11 games. Keeping my berserk rate. What do I play against English? Let's try and play this weird whatever this is. Um, I want to play something cool. Nah, let's just be normal. I'm going to play like typical Benoni ideas. 97 is very typical. And maybe, okay, let's play for first. Bishop g6 and f5 perhaps coming. Threatening to trap the knight. Okay, some idea to play e4. Sometimes this is overextending, but I think in this case it's pretty strong. Reinforce with the rook and the knight.
Man, there's so many ways to have fun here. Looking at taking an e3. I'm gonna play c6 first, undermine the bishop. Uh, okay, I'm defending again. Trying to be patient. Queen d5, maybe. Ah, uh, the knight's coming in my crib. Uh, play, play this move, I guess. A very confusing position now. I might be losing a pawn. Because takes, takes, and yeah, d4 is hanging. Oh no, my queen! Ah! I was going to say, oh no, my pawn, but my queen just hung. Hail. 42 months. Hail. Hey, it's no Toilet Noggin. Deal. Okay. I have to make Toilet Noggin proud. I just had a Toilet Noggin moment. Pre move bishop e4. Maybe g5. Not looking so great. Ah, both rooks are hanging, but I don't want to take either of them. Okay, I'll take that one. Fighting this now. I had knight c4. Okay, I'll play knight c4. The counter fork. That's such a good move. Black was threatening, or white was threatening. Ah, threatening me in all directions. Don't hurt me. Yeah, my time. Okay, that's my first loss of the tournament. Well played, Legoner. That was a cool game until I I lost a queen and then lost on time. Yeah, welcome back to Toilet Noggin. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate this sub. One of the OGs of, of the channel. So I'm at 50 points. I'm staying with my Berserking uh, Promise, playing this line. Okay, opponent gifted me some material. Play bishop h6, queen d3 hitting the pawn, knight e5. Trying to maximize pressure here. Queen e2. Oh, look at this move. So it's a fork. And it's a discovery. Where's my follow-up? It's a check. Where's my follow-up? Ah, this looks so fun. I think I'll play this move. Threatening maiden one. And filling in the gap of the b8 square. If queen here, I play this. Oh, that's a good move. Now my knight's trapped. Didn't really work. Okay, so I'm somehow up exchange still. Black was threatening deviousness. Ah, I have no time. Oh no. This isn't good. This is bad. Oh no. Ah! I was really hoping for the stalemate trap, but it didn't happen. Okay, that's two losses in a row. Uh, let's try and recover. <laughs> okay, let's slip some more tea, too. Oh, let's get revenge. Okay, so I lost to this player before. They played the English. I'm going to repeat the same opening. Um, ah, now we have an exchange Slav. This time I'll try and play more solidly and not plunder a queen. Queen b3. Or 
queen b6. White could play queen b3, but then maybe I take. We could see a lot of trades coming. Okay, trying to pressure the pawn. e3, maybe I'll play h6, preparing g5. Can take in g5, and I think the bishop's getting trapped. Hitting stuff. It was not necessary to take on e2, but free food. Time is getting better. Rook defends the knight through x-ray vision. White was threatening maiden one. Oh, and threatening my other thing. Okay, this is not so clear anymore. Okay, forcing a queen trade. I'm trying to defend everything now. Ah, okay, I hung a bishop, but white didn't take it. Want to play knight d4, probably. I want to take my own bishop, but I can't. Okay, I'll take pawns and now threatening this fork. I mean, white's going to move one of these. Oh, it's a free rook. Okay, got some revenge there. Less than 10 minutes left. Dojo Cat trying to fight. Ooh, Dojo Cat also berserking. Never played Dojo Cat before. Uh, that was a kind gift. <laughs> I wonder if Dojo Cat is related to Chess Dojo. Yeah, I think queen c7 was a mouse up there. Queen b6 was intended. Stafford gambit time, maybe? Maybe not. d5. Look, feels weird to play d6 and then d5, but now the bishop's not defended. This pawn is pinned and attacked three times. Knight's, knight is also kind of pinned to the bishop. So black's under a bit of pressure. Or white's under pressure, I should say. I'm going to sack and queen h4. Might be reckless, but it looks fun. And pre-move this. Okay, hitting this and this. Do I have to be somewhat careful of back rank made ideas? Always bishop f8 if I need it. So there's king f2 here. I think this is uh, one of the only ways to defend. And bishop h3 probably. Or knight c6. Or bishop g4. I think knight c6 would be my choice. King e2 also, but that walks into bishop g4. Wow. I didn't see queen f3, but yeah, it uh, did lose material. I cover d8. And now go for the, the pork pin and fork. Okay, 60 points. Playing Freebo, who also beat me earlier. Wait, no. I beat Freebo earlier. I got confused. Oh, that was a C4 mate game. Okay, well, we'll have some solid, more typical, like, kind of slower positional London. But White has a nice harmonious setup. 
usually like to play a4, h3. Slow playing a little bit. I want to play knight g5. f5 is some idea. Yeah, very much a maneuvering game. Not really threatening h5. Might be supporting this. Okay, didn't really make progress there. My queen should be back on b3. Okay, queen trade has happened. Idea d5 now. My pawn should be on light squares to compliment my, my bishop. Okay, up a pawn, still down on time. I feel a little bit pressured here, but c4 solves everything. I'll keep pushing. Yeah, I'll just keep pushing. Ah, I push too far. But knight takes e7, I have knight f7. Black doesn't take it. We have 12 seconds left. Where's my knight go? Knight f8, spite check. Okay, b3 is tender. Ooh, good move. Ah, I lost a pawn. No, my pawns. Here we go. One second. No seconds. You still made me, please. Please. Yes. It's still me. Okay. I was really close to flagging that game. I had to play a bunch of moves with no time left. Oh. Okay. Still in first. Lost some rating. Playing Magnus is my second again. Playing a walrus. Walrus declined. Sacking this pawn. I'm inspired by Magnus's play earlier. Moving the h pawn. Threatening this now. Oh, I wasn't threatening this because uh, the rook was defended. Okay, so I'll take, take. There's some potential queen sack for mate. Never mind. Or rook sack for mate. Stalemate god. Oh, thank you, Bethesap. It's not a true tournament without at least one stalemate. So white's up two pawns here. But I'm trying to somehow break through on the king side. Not easy, though. Okay. Oh, I plundered a bishop, but white didn't take it. What is this position? I feel confused. Oh no. OK, 
Okay, there's no queen a3. I think I can take this. If queen a2, I take and then mate. Or if king f1, it's queen h1 mate. Queen h1 pre-move mate? Ah, not quite mate. There we go. Wait, that's not mate. So black, white could have taken here. And if I pre-moved this, then I would have gotten mated. But okay, very little time. So potentially one more game left. Okay, final game. Never played this opponent before. Gonna try and might be hard to win before the tournament ends. But we'll try. Yeah, White's playing well. Very solid chess. Oh, my thing is trapped. Okay, so I'm down a piece and down a lot of time. Oh, I don't want to end with a loss. I can win a pawn there. Oh, there's a trap. If takes, I play this and the knight is lost. And the knight can't be defended. Okay, so white took the bait. Oh, and now I'm winning the bishop too. Bishop d4, I have this move. Wow, turned around. Offer the queen trade. Be aggressive here. A tournament is now over. It still takes some work. Rook d5. That's a knight one idea. And this move? I think this is okay. Threatening maiden one. A knight is useful on e1. And now king here, and there's a few spike checks. Okay. I think I can breathe easy now. Plenty of time. All right, thanks for the game to my opponent. Tournament's over, finished with 65 points. That was fun. I hope people enjoyed that. Got over 500 players. XI Spark says around move 33, there's some, I'll have to go to my profile. So I lost 13 points this tournament, but I had some fun. Move 33. Oh, move 33. Wow. Good catch. That's a nice tactic. Rook d8. I basically have to take and I lose my queen. Yeah, that would have been tragic. Okay, yeah, there were probably a lot of missed tactics in these games. But it was fun. Thanks to everyone for playing and watching and tuning in. Unfortunately, I do have to go like very, very soon. Is Magnus still playing? Magnus is not playing, but Alarez is playing. Ah, Alareza also training for tomorrow. A two, two oh bullets. <laughs> well, thanks everyone. 
I appreciate a lot of people here sticking around. I will be back. Yeah, so tomorrow it's uh, the actual tournament, the Agenmater. It's being promoted on the front page of leechess.org, right under my stream. Ah, it's so flattering. But um, yeah, here's the tournament. It's one Bitcoin first prize. Hikaru is playing. Oh, Rebecca Harris, also known as Nerditsky. Hikaru is seventh seed. Minlay, Alareza, man, it's gonna be. It's gonna be fun to, to be a part of. So, uh, let's send some love somewhere. Ooh, let's send some love to a place that already has a lot of love, but could maybe use some more. Haven't had a chance to raid this person in a while. Good friend of mine, also up and coming streamer, Levi Roseman, who just got married. He got married, I think today, actually, at least officially. Someday I will, I will do uh, photos for him. I wanted to do wedding photos, but he got married too soon. Anyway, send some good vibes, and I'll be back in the future. Goodbye to everyone.